Welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content. Today, we're diving deep into the world of ethical hacking and cybersecurity. We're talking about the top 10 tools you'll find in Kali Linux that can be used to test the security of social media. Now, before we jump in, remember these tools are for educational purposes only, and it's crucial to use them responsibly and ethically. We'll explore what makes each tool unique, its strengths, some potential drawbacks, and of course, how they stack up against the competition. Whether you're a seasoned security pro or just starting your journey in the world of ethical hacking, this video is your one-stop shop. So buckle up, hit that subscribe button, and let's get started. First up, we have the Social Engineering Toolkit, also known as SET. Think of SET as the Swiss Army knife of social engineering attacks. This tool is all about deception, preying on human vulnerabilities rather than technical flaws. SET comes loaded with a whole bunch of attack vectors. We're talking phishing pages that look so real they'd fool even the most cautious user, fake wireless access points to sniff out data, and even tools to create malicious payloads disguised as harmless files. The real power of SET lies in its versatility. You can use it to target individuals with highly customized attacks or cast a wider net to gather information on a larger scale. SET also helps you understand the psychology behind social engineering, how attackers exploit trust and manipulate people into compromising their own security. So, SET, definitely a powerful tool to have in your arsenal, even if it's just for educational purposes. Next, we have a heavyweight in the cybersecurity world, the Metasploit framework. Now, you might know Metasploit for its massive library of exploits, but it's so much more than just a penetration testing tool. When it comes to social media hacking, Metasploit can be your best friend. One of the ways Metasploit really shines is in its ability to create custom payloads. With Metasploit, you can create a malicious payload, like a backdoor, and deliver it through a seemingly harmless message or link. You can use it to steal session cookies, grab login credentials, or even take complete control of their device. Metasploit is constantly being updated with new exploits and modules. Whether you're a seasoned pen tester or just starting out, Metasploit's intuitive interface and extensive documentation make it surprisingly accessible. Let's talk about Wireshark, the OG of network analysis tools. Now you might be thinking, Wireshark? For social media hacking, really? And the answer is a resounding yes. Wireshark is like having a super-powered listening device for your network. It captures everything traveling across your network, down to the individual packets of data. You might be surprised by what information social media apps are sending over the network in plain text. Think usernames, passwords, private messages. It's all up for grabs if you're not careful. With the right filters, you can pinpoint specific traffic related to social media apps. Want to see all the Facebook traffic on your network? No problem. Wireshark can also be used to uncover security weaknesses in the way social media apps communicate. For example, you can use it to see if an app is using HTTPS properly, or if it's leaking sensitive information in unencrypted traffic. It's an incredibly powerful tool for anyone serious about cybersecurity or just understanding how information travels across networks. Now let's talk about a tool that's all about brute force Hydra. This one's a classic password cracker and for good reason. It's fast, it's powerful, and it supports a ton of different protocols, making it perfect for testing the strength of social media logins. Here's how it works. You feed Hydra a list of potential usernames and passwords, along with the target website or service. Hydra then goes to work, trying each combination one by one until it cracks the code. But brute forcing isn't always the most elegant solution. It can be noisy, it can take a while, and if the target has strong password policies in place, it might not even work. That being said, Hydra is still a valuable tool for ethical hackers and security professionals. Next up is another password-cracking powerhouse, John the Ripper. Now, unlike Hydra, which is all about brute force, John is a bit more strategic. It uses techniques like dictionary attacks, rainbow table attacks, and even incremental mode to crack those passwords. Let's say you're investigating a social media account that you suspect has been compromised. You manage to get your hands on a password hash. John the Ripper can take that hash and work its magic, comparing it to millions of known hashes to try and uncover the original password. One of the cool things about John the Ripper is its customization options. 
You can fine-tune its attacks, specify character sets, and even use word lists tailored specifically for social media passwords. Just like with Hydra though, it's important to use John the Ripper ethically and legally. Let's shift gears a bit and talk about Maltego, a tool that's all about connections. Imagine you're trying to build a profile of a potential target, someone who might be vulnerable to a social engineering attack. Maltego lets you visually map out relationships between people, websites, social media accounts, email addresses, pretty much anything you can think of. You start with a single piece of information, maybe a username or an email address, and Maltego starts spidering out, finding connections and building a web of relationships. It's incredibly powerful for things like reconnaissance. You can use Maltego to identify employees who are active on social media, find out what information they're sharing publicly, and even uncover potential vulnerabilities. Maltego gives you the insights you need to create believable pretexts, tailor your attacks, and increase your chances of success. It's not just about finding information, it's about understanding the context. Now, no conversation about hacking tools would be complete without mentioning Nmap, the network scanner that's been a staple in the security world for decades. And even though we're talking about social media hacking, Nmap still has a crucial role to play. Think of Nmap as the reconnaissance expert. Before you even think about launching an attack, you need to know what you're dealing with. Nmap lets you scan networks to identify active devices, open ports, running services. Basically, it gives you a blueprint of the target environment. Why is this important for social media hacking? Well, let's say you're targeting someone who's always on their phone. You can use Nmap to scan their home network, identify their phone's IP address, and then launch more targeted attacks against that device. Nmap also has a ton of advanced features like OS fingerprinting and version detection, whether you're a seasoned pen tester or a curious newbie, Nmap is a must-have tool in your arsenal. Let's talk about Burp Suite, the web proxy that's like having X-ray vision for web applications. Now, when it comes to social media hacking, Burp Suite is your best friend for understanding how these platforms work behind the scenes and uncovering security flaws. Here's how it works. Burp Suite sits between your browser and the web server, intercepting all the traffic that goes back and forth. This gives you incredible control over the data being exchanged. You can view it, modify it, even replay it to see how the application responds. Burp Suite is packed with features, but some of the most useful for social media hacking include its ability to map out the application's attack surface, test for vulnerabilities, and even automate attacks. Burp Suite has a massive community of developers who are constantly creating new plugins and extensions to enhance its functionality. It's an incredibly powerful tool that can take your social media hacking skills to the next level. Let's talk about Aircracking, the suite of tools that's practically synonymous with Wi-Fi hacking. Now you might be thinking, Wi-Fi hacking? What's that got to do with social media? Well, think about it. How many times have you logged into a social media account while connected to a public Wi-Fi network? If that network isn't secure, your credentials could be up for grabs. Aircracking lets you assess the security of Wi-Fi networks, identify vulnerabilities, and potentially even capture network traffic. It's a powerful tool, but it's important to use it ethically and legally. Make sure you have permission before testing the security of any Wi-Fi network. One of the key features of Aircracking is its ability to capture packets. By putting your wireless card into monitor mode, you can capture all the data being transmitted over the network. So whether you're a security enthusiast looking to test your own network, or a professional pen tester assessing the security of client networks, Aircrack Ning is a valuable tool to have in your arsenal. Finally, let's talk about Beef, the browser exploitation framework. This tool is all about taking advantage of vulnerabilities in web browsers to gain control of target systems. And in a world where social media is accessed almost exclusively through web browsers, Beef is a pretty powerful weapon. Beef lets you inject malicious JavaScript code into vulnerable websites. When a user visits that infected site, the code runs in their browser, giving you a backdoor into their system. From there, you can do all sorts of nasty things like stealing cookies, capturing keystrokes, even redirecting them to malicious websites. Beef is particularly effective against social media platforms because they rely heavily on user interaction. Each interaction is an opportunity for Beef to inject its malicious code and take control. Beef is a powerful tool, but it's important to use it ethically and legally. 
So there you have it. The top 10 social media hacking tools in Kali Linux that every ethical hacker should know. From social engineering to password cracking to network analysis, these tools give you the power to uncover vulnerabilities, test defenses, and ultimately make the digital world a safer place. Remember, these tools are incredibly powerful, so it's crucial to use them responsibly and ethically. Always obtain proper authorization before testing any systems and never use your knowledge for malicious purposes. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more cybersecurity content, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Until next time, stay safe, stay ethical, and stay curious.